Hi guys, okay. I am so excited to show you this bag. People have been asking what new Mimi bags are coming in. And I'm gonna tell you, there's only probably this guy right now. We have a new Parker bag that came in with the navy and the green. And then we have a denim quilted in the same exact model, but it'll be just denim with the cognac straps. This one is spectacular because it is in this amazing luggage leather. It is so beautifully handcrafted. Each one of these are hand painted. The drying process on these handles are just insane. Um, each one is just beautifully handcrafted. The finishing is just wonderful on this and it is just so elegant. I love it in this luggage color and I love it with the little pop of red, Matt. What do you think? Yeah. It's, this is a classic that is just, I think it's a really great way to have a classic, but a little modern. And I just find it so wonderful. You could definitely fit a laptop in here and all your stuff. 13 inch would be very comfortable. It has two side pockets for your phone and your glasses on the side. And I just did this whole thing uh, with what's in my bag. So I just took out all this stuff. So all this stuff will fit in there with a, um, all this stuff, like, right, I've got this guy. Oh my God, and this guy is so cute, Matt. Look at this guy that just came. In luggage. Yes, luggage. With the red pops. Luggage with little red pops. Nice. It's just, this is so cute, right? What a wonderful little tiny collection this is. Just in time for the holidays, if you're looking for a new bag, I think you should definitely ask for this one or get it for yourself. I'm definitely getting this bag. I just, I love it. I love how it's just beautiful. I love the luggage. I mean, it, it, I love the luggage that I love it so much that I have this guy and this guy in here. And then I have all my keys and everything. And for sure with all this stuff in there, you could definitely fold up a sweater. You could fold up a um, tiny little bandana, which I don't have with me today, and a 13 inch laptop and off you go. And it's great for travel. And an apple and a candle. And an apple and a candle and a book maybe in here, but it's just so great. Nice and light. And I love the structure. It stands up on its own. And it's just really beautiful bag. I think I'm really just, it's a new little direction for us, the cleanliness of it. I just think it's just wonderful. So if you're looking for a new Mimi bag, I think this one is just one on your list. Pop it with the red. Oh, it's so wonderful, Matt, look at this. How cute is that inside? I like, like the buddy bag. Little buddy bag, right? And then you could definitely put the little strap on here and take it out. Nesting bag. A little buddy bag, yes. And then all this stuff, my two phones that I don't need, like two, two, two glasses. I don't know why I have two of them, but whatever. It's all good. All right, what else is going on, Matt? It's getting late and it's just been a doozer of a day as always, right before the holidays and right when we get back from Thanksgiving. It's always jarring. Yeah, and then also like at home, we've got craziness. Um, one guy doing college apps, finals are coming up. So it's a lot, it's a lot going on. Um, what else? Getting cold in California, which is great. And um, that's what's going on. Uh, working out every day. I'm going to um, have some words of wisdom tomorrow because I've been listening to um, a couple books that I'm really inspired by. Um, and just, you know, I think what it is, is I was just thinking about exercising and um, it seems like it's just one of those things where it's a nice to have, but I feel like it's really important that movement is part of your life. Um, it's just not just exercising. I think doing the movement and learning how what you can do with movement and how far you can push your body, I think it could, it has a lot of correlation with what you can do with your life. And I think for me, I never thought that we could really find that with exercise. But then I was thinking yesterday um, when I was running, I was like, you know, through different stages of my life, I take on running because I really find, um, not solace, but it's just really kind of a like meditation, Matt. You know what I mean? And I really enjoy it. It sounds like torture sometimes, but I find that I really have challenging my body with the running. Um, and it's really quite amazing how you can, by little tiny steps, improve speed and improve all these little things. And I guess that's what it is. I think running before was just running at full out, right, Matt? And I think what I've learned is if you want to run and you have a goal in mind, you might want to not to just go full out and get to the goal. There might be different ways where actually you could take it a little easier and actually get further and faster to that goal which is really fascinating because I never thought of it that way. No, when we were younger- like the, That was one of our big eye openers. Right? Because when we were younger, it was just all about like going full out. And every day, if you're gonna go on a run, there's no like jogging, but strategically, 
it's actually really counterintuitive, but the days, more days you spend running slower actually get you there faster and you don't need to exert as much energy. And it's there's just only- just another <laughs> example of the hare and the tortoise. Like yeah. you always just think it's the race, yeah. but it's not. It's even the like this aspect of yes. it, which we never thought. But of. then you could correlate that with what you're doing in your life. So maybe what it is is if Everyone you have- Everyone making this up. This, no, is, this is like VO2 max measured. Right. Yeah. So you actually, want to spend 80% of your time running quite slowly and only 20% of the time going full bore once a week. And it's really counterintuitive. So zone two heart rate, zone five heart rate. Yes, and so that's only 20%, so that's maybe once, maybe twice a week, and then the other times you're just really going slow, which is crazy. But that's how I see, like, if you want to get to a goal and achieve a goal, you might not, everyone just thinks like, you have to keep working and keep doing it, but actually, there might be different ways to get to that goal where you don't exert all that energy and actually get there in a slower and smoother manner and you might get there faster because sometimes you have to think slow is smooth and smooth is actually fast. So but think then about you have that. to focus on developing your productive habit and yes. have that to support. And consistency is the key um, to anything. So if you, you have these goals and you're like, oh, I could just waltz my way to it, that's not gonna happen. The consistency of doing that slow practice every single week consistently, top, you know, topped up with two fast runs or cycling, that has to happen every week for you to get faster in the end. If you don't do that every week and it's not building and it's not consistent, it's not gonna work. So anyways, it's just really interesting how you could really take lessons from a simple task like that and then apply it to everything else in your life. So it's really interesting. So anyways, what's that got to do with bags? It's all about ease and elegance, man, all right? Like, that's what we do around here, and this is what we've learned. How do you get to be looking great, but doing it in a really easy and quick manner where you're like, whoa, I never thought of it that way, you know? And I think that's what we want to do here, and that's what products we want to put out, where throw on a pair of jeans and a white shirt and take this bag out, and you are dressed. You look like you have spent all day you know, like thinking about what you, but you just look so great. And I think that's what we want to do. It takes five minutes, but it's easy, yet it's very elegant in the end. And so I hope that this is what you will find in any of our bags that we put out there. So let's talk more about this idea, but I just wanted to plant a little seed in your head. All right, bye guys.